In all this, Job did not sin nor charge God with wrong. You may be seated. It kept piling up. It kept piling up. The word of God says the enemy comes in like a flood. Would you not say that that flood was rising right before Job? Just before the last speaker could get out the last word, there was some news of some other calamity. And it all affected Job. It's hard, folks. It's hard. It's hard when life circumstances seems to pile up and we get nothing but bad news. As much as we worship God, as much as we pray to God, as much as we try to do what is right, it seems like bad things happen to good people. Job is blameless. The Lord is so proud of Job that even when the devil had the boldness to walk up there before God, God said, hey, check out my servant. See, the devil was looking at everything Job had. But even in the devil's conversation with God, the devil said, you have blessed his hands. That means that Job was working, folks. See, we want everything handed to us. As if God's just going to throw blessings out of heaven and we don't have to do anything but just sit there and wait for it to happen. So Job worked. And in the working, faith without works is dead. So the working, he was blessed. See, what the enemy doesn't understand is that God already knew that Job had a heart for him. That Job worshipped him only. The things did not matter to Job because Job was fully aware of who he is. And that's why he walked upright, blameless. See, the devil's going to look at what you have and think if I just take it away from you, that you'll curse God. And unfortunately, so many people fall into that trap. When bad things happen, when those we love die, we question God and say, God, if you are real, why would you let this happen? I don't believe in God no more. God is not real. If God was real, he wouldn't have allowed this to happen. I will venture to say to each one of us, we cannot hold Job's shoes. And if it happened to Job, you best believe it's going to happen to us. But let's get some clarity in the text because we have to understand there's a greater purpose in this moment. What we have got to understand, brothers and sisters, the only control we have is how we respond to the things that happen. God allows everything. If you see it, he's allowed it. If you see it, he's allowed it. Whether it's good or bad, he's allowed it. The devil is wanting you to curse God when bad things happen. How many of us have gotten so frustrated with God because these things happen to us? I go to church every Sunday. I go to Bible study every Wednesday. I show up for all kind of church activities. If God is real, he wouldn't let these things happen to me. How many of us have been in that situation and we've thought those very things, wondering, where are you, God? Job got some bad news, but he responded by praising God. Brothers and sisters, we got to understand something. Yes, everything we see, God allows it. There's nothing that's happening in the earth that God didn't allow. God has complete control. The whole point of this sort of uh, matrix situation is to see how much we trust him. How much do we trust him? Will we fall out with God when we don't get that promotion? Will we fall out with God when the doctors tell us we have some sort of health issue? Will we fall out with God if God allows our child to leave us before we go to him? 
The devil is banking on you doing something that will curse God, blame God, where you will walk away from God, wonder if God is real. But even in this text, we see that the devil said, hey, you are worshiping God because of what God can do for you. Are you in that position today? Are you inside the house of God? Do you get on your knees every night for God to give you something? Or are you taking time, are we taking time to pray for other people? God is not a genie, he's a God. God will bless the hands of those who diligently seek him. Are we seeking him for toys or are we seeking him because he is God? If he doesn't do another thing for us, he's already done enough. Hello, I'm Vincent J. McGaskill, Senior Pastor of By God Inspired Fellowship in South Haven. I would like to invite you to our new South Haven campus. We're located at 7065 Airways Boulevard. We're directly across from Regions Bank on Airways Boulevard at Goodman Road. I invite you and your family to come and worship with us on Sunday mornings at 1030 a.m. And also for our midweek service, which is called Wednesday Recharge. We begin at 630 p.m. I hope to see you here. Welcome home.